So here we have the Honda HRV on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through uh, the controls from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the controls on the steering wheel, first of all. Uh, we have uh, phone controls, as you can see. Uh, we have controls for your stereo and main screen above that. And then we have cruise control over on the right-hand side uh, of the steering wheel as well. We'll move on to the central screen next. So now that we're on the touch screen, you can see that we've got various options we can swipe through on these screens. Uh, notably, satellite navigation, really nice clear color display as you can see. It's a very easy system to use. We've also got a full color uh, reversing camera as well. And then if you press the home button, we'll go back to the menu we started on where you can access your audio options, of which there are plenty in this car. Uh, you can see your radio options along the top just there and then if you listen to your own music as well and they include bluetooth audio so not only can you make and receive phone calls in this car you're able to stream your music wirelessly as well working our way down from that we have dual zone climate control you can adjust the uh, passenger temperature the driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed from there you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and when you're happy with those settings you can turn your air conditioning off, back on, or hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. You can override that manually whenever you wish to and put it back on your own settings here. We've also got a heated passenger seat and a heated driver seat with two different heat settings each. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system on and off from there. Underneath that section, we have our various inputs uh, for music. So you can see there, USB, HDMI input, and a 12 volt power socket as well. And we have a five, or oh, six speed even, sorry, manual gearbox for this car as well. Last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. So up here, uh, we have a button that will open this section up. You can leave it like this, and as you can see, that lets in a huge amount of extra light to the car. Uh, but you can also open the sunroof section as well should you wish to do that all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive please feel free to give us a call here at surrey specialist cars we'd love to hear from you soon